Hello friends, I am Sahil Khanna, Director of Genesis Educates, an organization which looks to transform the way education is delivered. Well, through this video, I would be covering some basic tips required for cracking competitions like JE Mains and JE Advanced. Well, it's the most sensitive time for all the 12th class non-medical students as you have to do the act of balancing between the board examinations and the competitions. Well, if I talk about how to concentrate upon competitions without screwing your boots, let's understand some very important tips through this video. The first and the foremost thing is that you got to churn out 50 to 60 percent of your time for your board preparation. Now, the smart worker should take out or should extract out the maximum efficiency for the competitions through that 50-60% time delivered to boards. Let's see how do we do it. When I say you are preparing for the boards, you are spending around good amount of time on subjective practicing NCRT papers and sample papers. But a child, student, tends to forget one very important thing. If you completely concentrate for the next two, two and a half months or three months on your board examinations, you would be ending your board somewhere in the end week of March and your competition the JE mains is between 6th April to 10th of April so with only 10 days left after board examinations you cannot hope to create any miracles and the foremost important challenge which you will face is that after boards you would be running complete short of the practice or objective problems so you would be feeling that you are actually starting from the scratch entire momentum has been lost so, to avoid that, what you can do, while preparing for the boards, in these days, you can utilize the time to side by side for every day around one and a half hours, practice 20 objective questions for at least two subjects. It could be physics, chemistry, chemistry, maths or physics and maths every day. Just 20 questions. By practicing those 20 questions you would be in line with the preparation for the competitions but but the most important thing is not doing the questions the analyzing the questions well this is the most important challenge or most important mistake which we all have done when we were preparing for it when we start our journey for the IIT mains or JE mains in after 10th class we all aspire to be an IIT so we go and join the best coaching institutes available for us. In the process, we keep on going, we keep on giving tests, we keep on solving a lot of material. But we forget that we are not improving holistically. Because for holistic improvement, you need to sit back, you need to sit back and analyze each and every area where you are right and where you are wrong. When I say where you are right, because the way you have attempted a question in an exam, you would have solved it correct, but who knows you would have solved it correct by spending around 4 to 5 minutes on it. In the process, if that question was analyzed correctly after the test, you could have devised a way where you can crack the same problem in just 1 minute. So thereby you are saving around 3, 3 and a half minutes on a question which is already correct. So in the process, if you can find 5 questions per test where you can save three and a half minutes so you're actually saving around 17 to 18 minutes a test if you're saving 17 to 18 minutes a test and you can utilize that to solve even three to four problems extra problems then your scores will jump from 16 to 18 marks your ranks will jump to 20 to 20 thousand ranks so it's the most important thing do not solve quantity solve quality 20 questions a day per subject for two subjects a day but Please analyze the test, what you do for at least a time equal to the duration of the test. For example, if you have a test, 
एक घंटे के लिए डेढ़ घंटे के लिए बैठ के कर रहे हो तो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट बिफोर यू गो टू द बेड आपको उस टेस्ट के साथ एक डेढ़ दो घंटे लगाने बहुत जरूरी है इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग इट यू आर गेटिंग स्क्रू दिस इज द मिस्टेक विच यू हैव मेड फ्रॉम लास्ट टू ईयर्स वेन एवर देर इज अ टेस्ट एट एनी कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑन एनी संडे यू कम बैक होम यू completely throw that question paper then in the next monday or tuesday when the result would be out either you be very good you will be very happy wa 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 or you would be disappointed but you are not doing anything to make the next sunday better doing next for making next sunday better it's important that you sit back you analyze you analyze you analyze you do your swot analysis strength weakness opportunities threat then you should proceed for the next sunday and you would see that your graph would start growing like this coming to the end part of the the competition preparation while preparing and for example right now the biggest question is how should we start what to do with just 3 months left you should divide the entire syllabus of 11th and 12th into three domains on paper one the strength part means the areas which are your strength then the weakness part the areas which are your challenges third the part where you are you find you seem okay now your target as a child should be or as a student should be to focus on your strengths and keep on keep them growing the areas which you want to improve the areas which are your weak points should be transformed or should be transferred from second column to the third column by rigorous practice by thorough practice by smart work then the areas which which you are okay with should be moved to the first column by practicing them more in the process map out this chart after or keep on evaluating this chart after every one week try to maximize your items in the strengths minimize your items in your weaknesses and you would save you and the most important thing is success is only guaranteed to those who believe in it you might be working 12 hours a day you might be working 14 hours a day or you might be working just 4 hours a day at the end of the day if you cannot visualize your dream college you would struggle you would struggle big time no matter what people say no matter what your friends say no matter what your family say if it is your day you can make it count and for making it your day you got to believe it is your day thank you so much have a very good day have a great life